I have a quick question. Who has the biggest balls of them all? Wrong answer, you pervert. But if you stay tuned, I will definitely let you know. Oh, we got a live one here. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back guys and as always thank you for tuning in thank you for watching now on today's episode guys we're going to be doing a review on one of my all-time favorite artists J. Scott Campbell it's going to be Cinderella from the fairytale fantasy line from Sideshow Collectibles very excited about this statue guys I had a chance to glance over it and right off the bat I'm very impressed by it but anyways enough about that let's get to the review all right guys so here's the box art for Cinderella as you can see in the very front, it's an illustration, which is the concept of the statue. Um, very beautiful. Uh, what I like about the fairy tale statue line, guys, is that they're very small figures. They don't take up a lot of space at all. I believe they're one six scale, um, but don't quote me on that, okay? So obviously the front of the box here shows Cinderella. There's a clock tower in the back, some little magical um, fairy dust, whatever, as you can see right there. Uh, side of the box is just an emblem. And the back of the box actually shows the pumpkin carriage, kind of like a silhouette in a way, uh, outline of it, side art there. And the top is J. Scott Campbell, Fairytale Fantasy, Cinderella. Okay, very beautiful box. All right, let's get to the statue. All right, guys, so here is Cinderella in all her glory. Let me give you a quick spin about for her. All right, so let's start off with the exclusive, guys. So the exclusive for Cinderella here is just this metal art print. Okay, now what I really like about this is it actually shows the artwork, which translates from this to this. Now, obviously it's not 100% accurate, but overall I think they did a pretty damn good job of it, okay? So let's start off with the base. Now, I'll be honest, guys, I was not paying attention when this statue came out because I did not know the base here is actually a glass base, okay? Actually, it's a mirror base, okay? On the mirror itself surrounding the edges, you know, there's some etching in there, some artwork, okay? On the rim of the base here, there's a pumpkins, more of the etching, some roses, flowers, pumpkins, and it rotates between pumpkins and flowers, okay? Going up to the actual statue itself, guys, one thing I will say off right off the bat, which I'm kind of disappointed about, is no glass slippers. Yeah, her shoes are just kind of a um, gray um, heel. Now, it's funny because the actual heel of her of her heels <laughs> is, uh, they do look like they're, they went for that clear look, okay? Moving up to the outfit. Now, again, when I first saw this statue, guys, I was just curious, like, why would they make it with all these holes? You know, I understand the concept of it, but I was just like, why wouldn't they just have the entire gown? Then I thought about it a little bit more. Imagine if this was complete, just a whole gown. So you'd be pay paying for a statue with just a whole gown and just the top of her showing. Which would be a disservice to J. Scott Campbell and his artwork, guys, because if you don't know, J. Scott Campbell makes his females very beautiful, very alluring, very lovely, okay, as we can see here, okay? So yeah, I mean, it serves two purposes. One, so you can see, you know, into her, <laughs> see her legs, her butt, okay, the panties she's wearing, but also because it's that moment of the scene when she actually gets her, her gown with the magic powers, and that's what these are, guys. I'm gonna, I don't know what to call them, I'm just gonna call them a magic dust. Okay, and the magic dust is surrounding her, it's swirling her, there's movement, there's motion with, with the dust, you know, it's turning that pumpkin into her dress, okay? And it's in the midst of it, okay? Now the dress itself, it's kind of a metallic baby blue color. There's a lot of different elements in here, like splatters of darker blue, some white outlining, and you know, from, from first glance, guys, Kind of looks like a mess, but you have to understand too that this is in the middle of the magic, okay, the scene. And if we can always go back to this, the metal art print. And in the metal art print, you can see the different whites kind of enveloping the dress, her, surrounding her, etc. So they captured it definitely with that, okay. 
Moving up to the upper portion, her torso, the corse, corset, it's obviously developing as well. It's not fully complete, but because this is a pumpkin dress, you know, she got it from the pumpkin. The corset itself does have a leaf pattern texture to it, okay? Uh, which is very cute, very dynamic, and, you know, definitely fits with, with the outfit, okay? The gloves themselves, um, they're fine. They're kind of the same color as the dress, a little bit lighter blue. But in the art print here, I can see they're kind of like a see-through material, but it's not on here. But again, like the heels, it's not really a big, it's not a deal killer for me, guys. Okay. Moving up to her portrait, very beautiful, very iconic J. Scott Campbell style. Eyes are closed. She has her eyeshadow, the makeup, eyeliner, lipstick. Um, eyes closed, smiling. So, you know, it shows that she's very happy. She's going to ready to go have a good time at the ball. Meet her Prince Charming. Okay. But yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty much the statue, guys. Um, overall rating for me, I would give it a... Um, not a perfect score. I'd probably give it a 9.6 though. Uh, the only things that I really wish they would have done better was obviously the heels fully, fully clear. Um, her arms here, the gloves, maybe more see-through. Um, but the price was great. And I actually love that these are small. Okay, they don't take a lot of room. And honestly guys, I love the fairy tale fantasy line. I actually have all of them. I'll be doing reviews on them, okay? But yeah, that's my overall rate rating on Cinderella here. Quick tidbit, guys. If you do get her, okay, I'm just going to show you. Want to be very careful because her torso here is one piece. Okay, let me get this for you. There it is. Okay. So when you do move this around, guys, you want to be very careful. It has a strong magnet, but just be very careful, guys, because if you pick her up, you know, it's kind of hard to grab her by the legs. Obviously, I'm doing it here. Big enough hole in the back. So definitely grab her by the legs if you're going to move her around when she's already complete. Anyway, guys, that's my review on Cinderella. Again, I love this piece. I'm definitely glad I picked it up. I believe it's still available on Sideshow's website. So if you like this review, you want to pick her up, pick her up now, guys. Don't know if the exclusive is still available. Again, the exclusive is just this art print. Me, personally, art print's not a deal breaker. Um, but this is the statue guys. Um, you know, as always, thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please, so please do so. Also leave a comment guys. Let me know what you think of this statue. If you like her, don't like her, if you want to pick her up, you know, just give me your feedback, what you think. But as always guys, thank you for watching again. And until next time, thank you.